Okay, guys, here's the goal. We want some shooting, blowing up, cool stuff like this to go on. We want explosions. And notice my favorite part, the cartridge casings. Shooting out of the weapon. Not only shooting out of the weapon, if you could tell from the other screens, they're shooting at the weapon, believe it or not, at different points on the weapon based off the weapon and guess what these are all free assets they're particles which is really cool so i'm not spawning actors and doing all this stuff this is all cool particle effect and it comes with the paragon stuff that's free okay so this is the project i worked on so i could have this demo for you okay and here's the original right okay here's where we were so we were shooting these little sparklers all over the place. Everything's great. We got cool laser beams, whatever. That's fantastic. But we need to add the Paragon assets to our project. So just go to your Epic Games launcher, type in Paragon Twin Blast, click on, cl click on it, click on it, click on it, and then this will pop up. I already have it. I've already downloaded it. Go into your library find your project add it to the project okay i already did that i did that already so i can restart it i tried to do in this video already it had tons of glitches it was freaking terrible whatever okay so hopefully i can remember what i did and everything will be great so we're going to start off on our character the first thing we want to do is open our blueprint editor go to our no i don't want to simulate go to the event graph and then find the point where you're actually firing the weapon okay so you click fire, checks if it's valid, it calculates your shoot to, and it spawns. It spawns it to the server, it spawns your projectile to the server. Well, it's, it tells you to go to the server so you can spawn the projectile, right? So normally you would think, okay, I'm go golden. I am just gonna spawn emitter, spawn emitter attached. I'll do that, everything will be fine. In fact, the very first time I started doing stuff like this, I thought that's what I was supposed to do, no. There's another step. You got to cast. Uh, you got to multicast. Okay, not just cast, multi-class. So what does that mean? Well, you're running onto the server. So basically, it's another command that tells the server to issue a command that tells all the other computers to do something. And in this case, it's going to be spawn the emitter. Now, you're like, well, why don't we have to do this on other things? Well, like on some things you don't. So if the thing is an, a replicated actor already, you you don't that's that's one way if it's a variable and it's set to replicated you don't have to do this but for whatever reason with emitters that aren't triggered already by some event like a projectile hitting something you have to multicast them okay and it's and like i said earlier it's one of those things you have to do a little trial and error here's one of those instances where you have to do it so let's just do it instead of talking about it so right click do a custom event Got my custom event, and I'm gonna say uh, spawn, or what's a better name for this? Like, I had a good one when I was doing it. I called it something, it was neat. I liked it at the time. I probably not, I'm building it up way too much. Um, buzzle, flash, cast, okay? Great, click on this thing, and this little guy will pop up over here. Drop down, do multicast. First time we've done it, so click on it, multicast. And you're like, okay, I'll click reliable. Well, hang on. So it's a muzzle flash, right? It's not detrimental to the game that you have it. It's You want it, I get it. But like, let's say your server's bogged down, your game's a great hit, you got a million people playing it, and everything's going fantastic, and then all of a sudden your game starts bogging down because everybody's playing it and everybody's firing muzzle flashes at the same time. Wouldn't you much rather have the game run than to just freaking crash and overload because you want to make sure you had all your pretty, pretty muzzle flashes in there. That's what Reliable does. If you check it, it makes sure it happens. If you don't check it, it'll happen if it has the time. Okay? That's my, that's my understanding of it. I haven't had a game have that many people on it to where that becomes an issue, but I'm sure in some cases it does, so why not future-proof in case you make the next who knows what? So... Uh, compile, save that so we can manipulate it. We're going to have to sp 
send some things through here. So you got to ask yourself, what needs to go on to the next thing? So remember, these are think of these like little islands, okay? Once you're on them, man, you were on them. So when you came onto the server, you're over here. You can't like drag stuff from over here and plug it in over here. You can. I mean, you physically can, but it's not going to read it. It doesn't know. You have to do it the magic special way, which is through here, through these events. And then from here, you route them through here. That's how it gets onto the server. Very strange, I know. But the same thing with casting. Okay, you got to do the same thing. You got to bring it, uh, bring it through the proper channels. So to do that, we made our little muzzle flash cast. But you have to call it. Remember. So you got to go muzzle flash cast. Bam! It's right there. So you double click this, and it goes to here, and then this is going to go to here. Notice. We did spawn emitter attached. There's also spawn emitter. So you would spawn an emitter if it was going to not be at attached to anything. So think of this: you fire your weapon as you're turning, or you, and okay, maybe maybe you got a flamethrower and it shoots out a flame, and you turn. Um, if you turn, the muzzle's going to turn because it's attached to your person. You attach the weapon, but you didn't attach the emitter, and the emitter's the flame. So the flame will stay and you'll turn, that's no good. You want the flame on the muzzle flash to move with the weapon. So you do spawn emitter attached, but it has to know what the weapon is. So to get this thing to know what the weapon is, you gotta send it through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an input, new parameter, um, we're gonna make it an actor. Uh, object reference, okay, freaking great, okay. Now, if you remember, what we send in through here because we're spawning a projectile, I think this is the same. So it's something, and, and uh, I can't remember exactly what we sent through. So let's look. Look, we already have our spawn weapon coming through. Spawn weapon, it comes through here. It goes onto our server. It's coming through the owner channel, okay? Um, because I guess we decided that that was going to be the owner of the projectile, which is fine because self is the instigator. So let's go ahead and we already, had, okay. So spawn weapon owner. Owner is gonna be into this muzzle flash cast because we want, we want the weapon to come through onto our cast event. So instead of new param, let's call this something we're gonna recognize like weapon. Look how easy that is doing fantastic so far by the way drag this down here go over here oh what the hell is going on just straighten that up right there a little messy you work on it on your own time right we got stuff to do okay so we got our weapon and you might go okay okay i know what to do i am gonna just attach this to here and you're like oh my god what is going on he told me i have my weapon it won't attach I get you. I feel your pain. This is some of the hard parts about programming. Okay, so what you did, you brought an actor across. Remember, we told it actor. It doesn't know what type of actor. It doesn't know. It doesn't know what's in the class. It doesn't know anything. So you got to cast it in there. Okay, you're basically sending it through unspecified. It doesn't quite know what it is. Uh, it knows it's sending through data, but it doesn't know what to do with it. it doesn't know where you want to go with it. So just drag off of here and say cast to weapon actual master. Okay, and this is our weapon actual class. Okay, we're in our character class right now, but this gives us access to our weapon actual master. And in our weapon actual master, we have our get weapon <laughs> actual, what the heck? I don't even know what we called this thing. So when we get into that situation, go into your third person, go into the third person BP blueprints, weapon actual master. We're trying to get this dang thing, weapon actual skeletal mesh. And I had this problem the other day. Go back to your third person character. We want to get that out of there. So weapon actual skeletal mesh. And we want to get it. So let's see, we go back over here and we type get. Oh, I saw it. There it was. Keep it all one line. That's the secret. Keep it all one line, I guess. I just found that out now. Get weapon actual skeletal mesh. Boom. Okay, so just, just a refresher. This is the same exact god dang thing. 
is what's in your weapon actual skeletal mesh this this little mesh here and what is this little mesh it's the actual freaking weapon it's the whole thing we're talking about okay that's what this is great that works that's what you want now and what's the co the point name remember we added a muzzle onto here so m u z z l e and to refresh your memory it's okay uh go back to your weapon actual skeletal uh, weapon actual master blueprint uh, you go down to this, the purple, remember, skeletal mesh. Do the little magnifying glass. Double click on it. Great. We're going. Hit skeleton. And if you remember your muzzle right there. And that's the muzzle. <laughs> uh, it's all over the place. But that's it. That little thing. That's all that is. All this is to say right there. That's where we want our muzzle flash to occur. All of that. But you got to do it. Okay just the way it is so we get that all happening everything's hunky-dory file save all let's see if it actually worked i'm going to show you some other things as far as this goes to snap to target keep world scale why not i don't know fiddle around with it see what you like and um, let's see if this actually did anything so i go over here and i can't see it what is wrong i don't know yet so i gotta go back and find out where the heck i messed up and i see it i mean how many times are you debugging how many times are you debugging you can't even see like what the problem is the problem is i didn't select what i wanted to actually have spawn so if you loaded in the um paragon assets you're gonna have access to this okay so just rather than us hunt down where it's at in the folder structure, I tried this already. It takes forever. Just do the drop down and follow along with me. P underscore twin blast. I'm going to try and move this crap out of the way so you can see it. Twin blast. Okay. Uh, underscore primary. Uh, primary. I'm guessing this is muzzle. Oh, I saw it. Okay. Primary muzzle flash. See that? P twin blast primary muzzle flash. Okay. Compile, save, file, save all, third person. Tell me something happens and it's flashing. The flashing is what we were going for, not the all the sparklers. We're going to clear those out of the way so you can actually see what the heck's going on in a second. Uh, let me move these screens up so you can kind of see. I hate working with 1080 resolution, but I know that's how most everybody has their monitor, so we'll just deal with it. Uh, okay. What the heck? Did you see that weird thing? Anyway, okay. So, okay, if you look on the right screen, you can see he is getting, in fact, getting the muzzle flash. Everything is working great. Look, he's getting cartridge casings coming out. But a couple things to note. Um... They're not coming out in the right spot. They're coming out a little forward of where they would on an actual weapon. You switch over to this weapon, same problem. Switch out of here, they're pretty close. But the fact is we're eventually going to put a variable in there that we can control this emitter, this particle effect, which is the coolest darn thing ever. I just discovered it um, a little bit ago. So I wanted to show you guys what's up with that. And so you can you can learn how to uh, adjust particle particle effects and all this cool stuff. So... So it'll be a little rough around the edges, but you'll like the video. So let's keep moving. Um, let's go into our weapon projectile. Uh, where we go here? This is half the problem. Oh, by the way, if you're looking for those other particle effects, they're going to be under Paragon um, Effects. He's got particles. He's got a bunch of stuff in here. And the reason I'm using them, I'm not going to keep digging through here. It, they're in here. You can find them. That's why I didn't want to do that. Um, the reason I'm using them because they're free. I don't want people to have to buy stuff. I just noticed Unreal released a bunch of free particle effects, like right when I was about ready to do this video. So there might even be better ones in there. So use whatever the heck particles you want to use. All right. Uh, what was I doing? Okay. Blueprints. Go into the projectile master. Anyway, there's a bunch of free ones they just released, so check those out. I think it's like they're free. Free for February, if I said that right. Anyway, so we got all this spawn emitter crap. Um, 
So for the trail, we already have something in there, the sparkles. We want to change that, the particle system. Uh, so once again, hit the drop down. And if my beautiful face isn't covering it up, you're going to follow after me. Uh, P, up oh, underscore twin blast. Uh, nitro. No. Nitro underscore trail. We'll use nitro trail and hope to God it's right. Okay. Let's try that. Let's see if it's working. Oh my gosh. Look at the size. It's like rockets shooting out of his weapon. I mean, that's cool and everything, but we need to bring that down a little bit. Uh, go into your viewport and you can see it's like this massive thing. If it, it dies out like that, hit, no, nope, hit reset emitter. I don't like scaling, but we're going to have to in this case. Uh, go to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Over here on the scale, see? Yeah, great. Reset emitter. Um, I'm not an artist, guys, as you can tell. Um, I'm starting to get on my own, doing my own artisty stuff, getting in touch with my softer side. Uh, but... I'm working on doing emitters. I'm working on doing laser beams. I was doing really cool stuff with some actual laser beams instead of that laser light we have. And that's the great thing. We can always add, make our make our stuff be better, you know, whatever we want to do. Anyway, compile, save. Let's see what we got going. I'm just grabbing tons of crap. Oh, look at that. Fan freaking tastic. He's shooting little mini rockets all over the place. And you're like, oh, it's still going so slow. Somebody's still complaining about that, I bet. Yeah, it's going so slow. Yeah, we're testing, man. Fine. You want a fast projectile movement. Now, when we're actually doing this multiplayer, um, if you, I've learned... If you, oh, jeez. It just hit my mic. I've learned if you want to do stuff like sniper rifles and all that, you're going to want it up to like 80,000, something crazy like that. We'll get there. That's fine. We're still kind of doing some testing, but I get it. You don't want it down at 500. Just move it up to like 10,000. Okay. It's not changing the size. It acts like it is, but it's not. Compile, save. Uh, that's in the projectile movement. And that's just going to make it a little more realistic. Uh, and it's not really for the player as it is as much for your opponent. Um, once again, crappy uh, low res monitor. You're only, you know, you're not seeing all of it, but, well, at least it looked like it was there for a second. What happened to it? See, now I just keep seeing the, um, darn it. It just keeps, that's so much, there it is. It just gets, it kind of, you gotta, there it is. You see it zooming past, zoom, zoom, way up there. It's working. Everything's Fantastic. Okay, now we just got to work on these stupid explosions here when it's hitting the impact. So, go to the event graph on your projectile master, and it's going to be right here. So, right, it hits something, it does something. It spawns an emitter. Now, notice this one didn't have to be cast. Just one of those things. Um, so, we got P explosion. Once again, uh, with the Paragon assets, this is what this is going to be. Uh, we're going to do a drop down. Just do P underscore twin blast underscore I'm sorry I know it's blocking Jeez. twin blast underscore nitro underscore hit world yeah right there P twin blast nitro hit world with the underscores in between the words click it that's what you want compile save Save all. Okay. Okay, now we're hitting the ground. It looks great. It's beautiful. Whole world's seeing it. Everything's fantastic. I can't believe it. Yay. It's working. Um, run is non dedicated. Gosh, there's something I got to remember to tell you guys. Uh, basically, there's a chance of you getting an error if the dedicated server tries running this particle effect. Please remind me to fix that. <laughs> uh, let me just go do it. There's, there's, two, there's two things, though, I can't forget. Okay. First off, in your character, when it's spawning that emitter, 
I don't remember if I told you or not. So I'm going to go look on this guy. You see how it's far back on the rifle? I don't like that. I'm look, I was looking at the right screen. I don't know if my once again glorious face is covering it up. So I'm going to move. I'm kidding. I hope you know. Okay. Uh, let's get this guy over here. What am I doing? Does anybody know what I'm trying to do here? Okay. See how the muzzle flashes back on the gun? It's not supposed to be like that. It's not supposed to be so far back. We can fix that. No problem. These values here are localized, which means you're just adjusting the value that's already given to it by it being attached. So if you, if you just want to add 10 to the movement, you can, and you can do it just like this. So we want to move it forward a little bit so that that's X. Okay. Just 10. Okay. And you can adjust rotation and scale. So if you wanted to move it like up vertically, you could do that and you can do all sorts of crazy crap. So you want to move it forward or maybe if you want to move it vertically, you use Z, but what, you get my point. You get what I'm trying to say. Okay. X 10, that should line it up. Save play. Okay, that looks good. Let's get the long gun out. You can see it better. Look at that. AK-47. Ooh. Yeah, da, 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 da. Looks like it's flying. It's it's great. Look at that. Shells are still coming out the wrong spot. Uh, that'll probably be a later video. But we got it. So it's shooting. It's hitting the ground. It's flashing. Everybody's seeing it. Oh, see? You didn't remind me. I had to remind myself. Um... You can sometimes get this error. It pops up. It's like access none, which is a common error. You get a lot on, on a lot of things. But if the dedicated server, server, so is dedicated server, you want to check this, okay? I maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm going crazy, but I don't see a reason why the dedicated server would ever need to spawn an emitter. Because if it's dedicated server, it's not rendering any graphics, so I don't see why it needs to spawn the emitter. So I just run this little check here. Is dedicated server? Yes or no? If it is, if that's true, don't do anything. Lay off. If it's false, then go ahead and spawn the emitter. Am I still recording? I can never tell. Compile, save, save all. Press play. Mm, okay. Okay, so I'm I'm running as the server now, which isn't going to tell me if it's dedicated or not. Okay, everything's fine. No errors, none of this. Am I running dedicated, though? No. Run as dedicated. Okay, he's shooting. The world's happy. AK-47. Everything is fine. Okay, world's a happy place. Everything's good. I'm not getting any errors. See, see, I was hoping... Okay, I'm running dedicated server. I was hoping, like, if I were to hook this up true, press play, I should get an error, but it's probably not going to... It's probably not going to do it. Should get, like, all sorts of problems. But it's not. Whatever. Uh, it's still a good check. It's still... It makes sense to me. Maybe, maybe I don't need it. Who knows? Leave it in, take it out. But if you start getting an error after you take it out, then that's why. So if it's dedicated server, true, I don't want you to spawn any emitters. Either way, it's probably saving some... You know what? You know what a good way to check? I just thought of this. Go to your output log. I wonder what it would... I wonder what it would have to say about this. So let me connect that up to true again. And I shouldn't be doing this debugging live like this. I can't even see what's in my... Am I seeing? No, I'm not seeing my log. Uh, wait. Warning. No, that's not it. Oh, well, I still ho I'm still i still holding to my theory that... The, that it, the uh, No, it's not complaining at all. I still think it should be. Whatever. But anyway... Do what you will with that. We'll fix any bugs later on next week or something. Uh, but anyways, stick around. Next video, we're going to go ahead and fix those shells. Everything will be great. I'll see you in the next video.